Oh, great. So um, somewhere back there um, is, uh, I, I know I can see kind of the vague outline. Um, so now it's my um, great honor to introduce one of my colleagues who really has been a great mentor for me since I've come to Congress, who has worked so hard on these very complicated issues of technology, especially as we um, try to get legislators up to speed. She's really been a leader in this space. Um, she represents an area um, in Northern California that might have a little bit of technology there, not like, not like you know, the Northwest, but, you know, close, close. Um, um, but um, the Congresswoman from California, um, uh, uh, leader on the Energy and Commerce Committee, please join me in welcoming Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. Isn't she great? Give her a big hand. Give her a big hand. Susan is, um, Susan is a real prize in the Congress. All you have to do is listen to her for not even longer than a minute, and you know that she is uh, a high value added uh, to the Congress. Uh, the experience that she brings uh, uh, to us is, uh, is invaluable, and she's so instructive to so many. And um, uh, if anyone ever thinks that uh, there isn't anyone to work with, uh, on our side of the aisle. They are so wrong because Susan is open to working with anyone to advance uh, good things. So thank you, Susan. Did she leave? Oh, there you are. Well, I'm glad that you heard me. I'm glad that you heard me. Bobby, you need to come up. Where are you? Where are you? Where's the star? Look at this. This is a great, um, this is a great party. What a beautiful tribute. There he is. I see him coming. Uh, uh, before uh, uh, Bob gets uh, up here, I, I want to uh, pay tribute to Tim Lorden. Tim Lorden has been the executive uh, director of the Congressional Internet Caucus Academy, and uh, obviously he's done uh, an outstanding job um, in that position, uh, but he also has done an outstanding job organizing all of this. Hi, Bob. I'm going to, I'm going to come up here and give you a hug. Congratulations. 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 I want to say a few words in the microphone, though, since I'm not uh, uh, mic'd to my, uh, my clothes. Um, this is really, um, uh, my remarks are on behalf of uh, the, the co-chairs of the caucus. Um, uh, Bob was the founder of the Internet Caucus in the House. And uh, he asked me, that's right, give him a big, um, uh, that was, uh, you know, to, to use those words today, you'd think, well, of course. But at the time, um, that was really forward leaning in the Congress and that a caucus would be, uh, would be formed. Uh, and our, our Senate co-chairs, uh, uh, Senator uh, Thune and, uh, and Leahy, uh, they, are, uh, they hold the fort down over on the, on the Senate side uh, and have been uh, our partners. And um, uh, Bob has had a long and, um, I don't want to sound congressional, but you know what, it is a good word to use, a long and distinguished career in the House. Uh, and, uh, and of course, from his perch at the uh, uh, House Judiciary Committee, there were so many um, uh, key pieces of legislation uh, that he, and I think the best one at the committee, to understand what the content uh, of those bills needed to be in order to advance uh, the internet in our country. So, uh, uh, Bob, we have something for you that I think you're going to get a big kick out of. Um, uh, uh, first of all, I think it's, a, uh, it's an important uh, and fun way to express our appreciation uh, to you. We know that you are a, uh, a huge baseball fan, so we thought we'd give you a uh, uh, one-of-a-kind uh, collector's item, uh, a Congressional Internet Caucus baseball bat with our signatures carved in it. I mean, you can't go anywhere to buy this thing. You really can't. 
it, and not Macy's, not Neiman Marcus, no one. No one carries this. But um, uh, I hope that when you carry it home and you glance at it as uh, as one of your mementos, that um, uh, that you will always remember our deep uh, respect and appreciation for you. Uh, Bob, as I said, has a long history working on internet policy, and uh, we've had uh, we've seen many battles. Um, most of them I've been with Bob on. Some I haven't. Uh, were it not for Bob uh, in the very early days, um, the internet would have been taxed by over 10,000 individual uh, taxing entities in our country. And in when was it? 2015. 2015 that we got that uh, over over the line and it was really confusing to members not that it should have been confusing but they did uh, conflate or confuse the subject uh, with the following and that was the uh, the collection of taxes uh, by uh, local ent entities whether it was uh, uh, Main Street or uh, shopping on the internet so uh, I think that uh, that was a huge effort. It took time. It sounds like it was very easy because it made so much sense, and yet um, uh, it all takes time in the, uh, in the Congress. Uh, imagine that he's chaired the, uh, the caucus for over 20 years, for over 20 years, and uh, he, his interest never um, uh, 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 diminished. Uh, you'd always think that uh, when Bob was there that it was the first year chairing the caucus. That's the kind of interest and excitement that uh, uh, that that he uh, brought to it. And I think one of the really lasting contributions uh, was, and, and it was uh, Bob's, one of Bob's original purposes to form the caucus, uh, I don't think I'm wrong about this, was to educate members so they would understand what this enterprise was all about. Now, Congress is made fun of for not uh, knowing um, uh, a great deal. Well, uh, if, you, if you are thinking in a contemporary way, uh, I would invite you to um, compare and contrast today with 1996. It was, a, it was really quite um, a sad state of affairs. So uh, that's, that's a lasting, uh, it really is a lasting contribution. It is, I know you're laughing, you think. Well, you weren't born in 1996, so I guess that's why you're laughing. So uh, I think another very important uh, uh, contribution, and it was Bob's idea to uh, launch the Congressional App Challenge. Uh, there are only two congressionally approved undertakings uh, across our country. One is the congressional art competition that takes place in every congressional district across the country, high school students, and uh, uh, that has been in place for a long time and uh, very well established and a lot of people know about it. And uh, uh, so moving off of that, the Ho House administration had to approve this. And uh, uh, what are we up to now, 185? I think a this year, 200? We made 200. That's great. 200 congressional districts participating in the App Challenge. And uh, I think it, uh, th that's great. Uh, uh, you should applaud that. I think that uh, uh, no surprise to any of you, in my congressional district from the get-go, there was enormous interest on the part of the, uh, of the students. Uh, enormous interest on the part of adults that wanted to be the judges, and uh, the projects are phenomenal. They really are phenomenal, and I, I think the reception that they're receiving and the acclamation uh, by um, uh, local newspapers, their schools, uh, their teachers, uh, that um, they know that what they're doing is very important. And uh, we will all benefit from the experience that they've had uh, because it's like striking a match. They, they have the interest, their interest is piqued, and they want to move on um, as a result of the app challenge. So, uh, Bob, thank you for that. Uh, you, uh, he also brought, did the unthinkable. He got tech companies and the music industry to come together and agree 
on copyright. Um, I think uh, just about everyone was betting against that, Bob, because these are, uh, uh, well, it was tough. It was tough. These are uh, both uh, uh, very important uh, um, uh, stakeholders, uh, but they were miles apart. And yet, uh, uh, under Bob's leadership, the Orangey Hatch, uh, Bob Goodlett uh, Music Modernization Act uh, very appropriately bears your name. Uh, that's an enormous contribution, uh, and it uh, really speaks to your abilities as a uh, as a legislator. So uh, obviously, I could go on and on, and some of you think I already have uh, about uh, Bob's accomplishments. Uh, I'm going to miss Bob in the Congress. All of you, I think, are going to miss Bob in the Congress. Uh, but tonight is uh, is lighthearted yet important, Bob, to call out uh, what you've done. You came to Washington, D.C. to represent your district. And uh, uh, I think that uh, one of the wonderful things that can happen to a member is, is that they grow, is that they grow in their knowledge and their understanding of, uh, of how the future uh, can be shaped in our country, uh, understanding the changes that are taking place and how we harness those changes for the betterment of, uh, of humankind uh, and the betterment, obviously, of our own country. I think anything that we do here in the Congress eventually becomes the betterment of humankind uh, because our country is the indispensable nation in the world. Some people don't like to have that as a moniker. Uh, I, think, uh, I think it's a great honor and uh, uh, we are the consequential, uh, consequential nation, and uh, uh, Bob Goodlett, through his service, uh, has really made good on that and uh, with the contributions that he's made. So uh, do we have the, uh, this, the famous, is it? Right in front of me. Oh, right here, right next to the podium. Oh, God. Okay, Bobby, look at this. And I'm handing this to you with love, not to hit you, but look at this. <laughs> look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that great? Absolutely. Isn't that great? Look at it. John Thune, Patrick Leahy, Jerry Lewis, Jim to Bob Goodlett, an appreciation for your dedication to the Congressional Internet Caucus. There you go. That's what you're going to take off with you. Thank you. I, mean, I think we need to say a few words. I think we need to say a few words. Yeah. I think, first of all, thank you for those very kind and very, very generous right. remarks. Uh, it's been an honor to serve with you as the co-chair of the Internet Caucus. I was there at the beginning, but not quite the, and you were too, but right. not quite the, uh, uh, founder of it. Uh, there was a Who fellow from what I think Susan, Susan Delbane has left, but uh, her predecessor, Rick White, was the oh, first Republican right. co chair. Right. Right. But I think uh -huh. uh, after a term, I became mm -hmm. uh, the chairman. It's been an honor to serve all this time. I want to give a shout out to is Jerry Berman here? Jerry's not here, but I uh, worked with Jerry for many years yeah. and uh, Tim Lorden for almost all those years. So, yeah. Tim, Tim uh, you're still at it. Job. Congratulations and thank you very much. And the only thing I can say about this baseball bat is I wish I had it last year. <laughs> so I could have, not to hit anybody with it, but to swing for the fences, yeah. uh, which is what we did on the Electronic Communications Privacy Act reforms. Uh, passed it unanimously through the House, both yeah. of the last two Congresses. Uh, and I was glad to hear uh, Congresswoman Del Bainey talk about taking that up. Hope yeah. you do too. Get the Senate to pass it this time right. uh, and let it become law. It's uh, really ridiculous that we have uh, a law dealing with electronic communications privacy that was written in the 1980s. Yeah. Technology's changed just a little bit yeah, since changed. then. But thank you all uh, for your support uh, of the uh, uh, Internet Caucus and uh, the Foundation and uh, the educational efforts that go on there. It is badly, badly needed in the Congress, uh, and some of the best programs for members and staff are put on by this organization, uh, and they do a lot of other good things to help make sure uh, that uh, good public policy related to technology and the Internet uh, is advanced to the forefront, and I've been uh, honored to be a part of it. I'll miss it, uh, but I'm also going to look forward to seeing a few more baseball That's games. That's right. Yeah. Thank you all, and God Thank bless you. all of you. Thank you. God bless you. Let me, let me add.
Um, when I got here, I started seeing uh, uh, some folks who are very, very, very important to me and uh, never could have served as chairman of this organization or chairman of the Judiciary Committee without them. Uh, but uh, the only one I knew was going to be here is Shelley Husband, uh, who many of you know is my chief of staff and chief of staff and general counsel of the Judiciary Committee. But then uh, Catherine Rexroad, uh, uh, the communications director, and then I saw Pete Larkin, my chief of staff in my congressional office, and uh, a couple of great uh, counsels for the Judiciary Committee, uh, Joe Keeley and Dan Huff and Mary Pritshaw, and I'm sure I'm leaving somebody out. But uh, thank you all for being here, but more importantly, thank you for all the great things you've done uh, for the Internet, for uh, the United States Congress, and for the country. Uh, so, folks, um, we have a. <laughs> we have a cocktail reception going on right now. Uh, the conference is over. Thank you so much for staying with us, and thank you, Congressman Goodlatte and Congressman Eshoo. The drinks are that way. <laughs>